Hi everyone, this is Cyrus for bestablecreators.com. Today I'm showing you Nexus 10 versus the new Nexus 7. And one of them is a premium tablet, one of them is supposed to be a budget tablet, but the Nexus 7 2013 has a lot to offer. Android 4.3, 1920 to 1200 display, that's higher than the Kindle Fire HD and other tablets that in that category as far as Android tablets go. We get two gigs of RAM, that's one gig for Kindle Fire HD. You get a Snapdragon Pro S4 Pro, the quad core experience, dual stereo speakers, get a Steam port support, which is a big deal considering the previous Nexus 7. A lot going for it. Still, Nexus 10 is one of my favorite tablets. It has for Android 4.2 when, when you buy it, and a 2560 to 1900 to 1600, sorry, display, and two gigs of RAM, five megapixel back camera, Nexus 7 also five megapixel back camera, and then we have a 1.9 megapixel, two or two megapixel front camera for the Nexus 10. Now, I'm just gonna show you the benchmarks that I had, I ran on these. I just wanted to show you and compare the performance of these two. Now I'm using the same app. Sometimes you use different applications, you get different results and it's hard to interpret what you're seeing. So here's what I have here. You get the score of 19.876 there, you get the score of 13.739 here. If you go and check the details, you can go through them and see the RAM is identical. They have the same amount of RAM, these two tablets. The processor, one of them is a quad core processor, Snapdragon Pro. The other one is a dual, dual core processor. Now I know that Google and its partners are going to come up with other tablets. Nexus 10 is gonna get updated, let's say that, and it's gonna happen soon. There are rumors on what's gonna have, what it's gonna have, what it's not gonna have. Considering the, the improvement that the Nexus 7 2013 offers over the previous version, I expect in the new Nexus 10 to be real, a really, really awesome tablet. Now, since using 7-inch tablets, I've been getting used to the idea of using smaller tablets. For a long time, I thought that maybe if you have a 10 inch tablet, that's the best option to have. But now with seven inch tablets, that's changed. Let me show you the ports for these because Nexus 10 actually has a bunch of ports. The buttons are the same, it's like go there. So you get your ports here. Nexus 7 doesn't really have as many and it's not a deal breaker because you're getting only a seven inch tablet. And I mean, let's think about it for 229, you get a lot, but that's the only port that you get. Uh, for, and you also get your headphone and just have buttons. That's it. So So you be the judge, the two benchmarking numbers and Nexus 7 offers a higher number as far as performance goes. I I personally like Nexus 10 because of the larger display still, but I'm getting used to the idea of using a smart tablets and this latest Nexus 7, it's fast and it has enough for me to get my work done. So let me know what you think, which tablet would you go for? Are you going to wait for the new Nexus 10 that's coming out later this year? Or are you going to just get the Nexus 7 FHD and go with that? Or maybe you want to get the iPad mini too with Retina display, whatever improvements. I mean, I, Apple is really far behind as far as the specs go, but they have their apps that a lot of people have. And once you get into that game, you buy apps and you buy apps, you spend money. It's really hard to go from iOS to Android when you've spent a lot of money getting apps that you can't transfer to Android. So that's gonna be an issue. I hope you enjoyed this short comparison of these two tablets. For more information, please go to bestebookreaders.com. Thanks very much for watching, guys.